Hi, this is Steve Walton from Tropic Heating and PatioHeat.com. Today we're going to take a look at this uh, patio of a restaurant. Um, this patio, uh, I should say this restaurant, already has a few um, heaters in it. So there's a couple of these uh, different models. Um, we don't support this model, but uh, in any case, they have them up against the wall over here, and they're looking for a little bit more heat output than what they have today. So. Um, what I've done is added a few more units into this patio. These are all gas units, but they could be substituted for electric heaters um, in the same uh, vicinity or location. Um, one thing I'm concerned about on this particular uh, portion over here is that we meet these this clearance of four feet above this doorway, because when this door is open, um, partial uh, partial part of the door is hanging out in the open so we need to make sure we have that four feet of clearance um, for that doorway there and so and I don't remember exactly on this patio whether this ceiling area comes all the way over to the top oops if it does then we need to make sure we maintain um, a, the minimum clearance above the heater which is 17 inches so that would be another concern that we have to take take into consideration. So yeah, the um, yeah, if I didn't state it properly, these electric heaters were on top of this bar over here. So we're uh, recommended that they repurpose those heaters and use them on this portion of this little awning that comes out. Um, it's a uh, uh, solid structure, um, so it's not a physical movable awning but in any case yeah they can reposition those so that they can still utilize them um, what i have here are tshs and i've basically just taken this space between this black bar here and divide it in half and then put those heaters in between those two halves this one here i've taken um, the roof of this wall here and um, put the heater between the two walls this left wall this right wall and now it's centered in there um, and then on this particular heater there's no more seating down past um, i think this uh, doorway here so um, i've taken this heater and brought it all the way to the edge of this wall here so um, with that, I'm going to turn on the, uh, oh, let's quickly just do the dimensions, 14, 16 and a half feet, 25 feet, and to that doorway is approximately 19 feet. It could be a little bit different, um, so you'd want to double check that. Um, the height of this uh, accordion style door is about 10 feet tall. And so this heater here will be 14 feet off the ground, which is not ideal, but it will um, produce enough uh, warmth for a little bit more comfort down in this space here. And the combination of the two with some overlapping here and some overlapping from this heater over here will, should be sufficient enough. Um, also, just as a side note, we move this particular heater um, about two feet higher than what they had the other heaters before. So this heater is about nine feet off the ground, which um, nine to ten foot would be ideal. You could move this ten foot and uh, that would be great as well. So, all right, let's take a look at the uh, ray profile here. And so you can see here, I don't have the profile for these other um, units, however, they would be um, sufficient for this space that they have right here. You can see that we got good coverage with these TSHs. These are sun packs, all gas heaters um, with a high and I'll call it medium output, so 25,000 BTUs or 34,000 BTUs. And um, so I don't know the actual dimension of this tree here, but we have to be careful of this tree. We don't want to penetrate it too closely. So again, that four feet minimum um, from the trunk especially so that we're not uh, kind of carterizing the, the uh, sap in there. And uh, if there's anything else here. So yeah, you can see the um, coverage here. We have 
the predicted coverage is ideal for eight feet off the ground and you can see we have these much higher but this ray um, continues to travel and will warm up this space and make it much more comfortable than what it is existing today so um, again this look at this overlap here we have a nice overlap Let's see if I can get this to function properly so this heater here is overlapping to this edge here and then this heater here on this wall is overlapping all the way up to this edge and the two of them between this one and this one you got about I don't know it's almost a three foot overlap here so that's really nice a lot of overlap and that'll make it a lot more comfortable so anyway I just wanted to quickly show that um, this aspect of this job and hopefully uh, that's going to help this customer if you're looking for a uh, drawing to assist you in your application please give us a call i'm steve walton from tropic heating and patioheat.com have a great day